Good morning, spoofers. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys something a little different. I'm going to show you guys what a downgrade looks like. I get a lot of questions about downgrades overall. A uh, big misconception is people think you have to root your tablet or whatever, phone, so you can downgrade. Uh, that's not true as long as you can uh, use official firmware, you should be all set. Now, the device I'm downgrading today is a Samsung device. I mean, downgrading a Samsung device is relatively easier than other devices. But since most people, I guess, in this group and all over the world have Samsungs, I figure this is a good reference point. Alright, so let's see where I am at right now. Okay, so where I am right now, I mean, the tablet spoofs spoofs fine right now. Let's show off some software. Okay, so this is a 7.1.2 Android tablet with a August 5th, 2017 security patch. Alright, so let's get started. So first thing you would have to do is turn off well, actually, before I do anything to the tablet, what you would need to have first is official firmware for your tablet or phone. Now, to find that, it's best that you search for your model number when you go through Google. So this tablet, the model number is SMT800 which is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S. I mean, if you search for a Samsung Galaxy Tab S in the Google and you search for firmware for that, uh, it's not gonna give you the specific firmware that you need. It's gonna give you a long list based on uh, whatever Google finds. Uh, if you use your model number instead, uh, you'll get something more specific to your tablet's country, hardware, etc. Okay, so I already have it downloaded. I mean, if you guys were going to watch me download that file, you might be here for a while. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to turn off the tablet. Okay, I'm just going to wait a bit for that to turn off. I should really learn to record my screen while I'm doing this. Basically what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to open up Odin on my computer. Now the instructions that I'm, that I'm using right now, they're from my website or whatever instructions I posted in this group. So I'm pretty much just opening Odin and tapping on the AP button. And from there, I'm just going to load up my firmware. I haven't actually done anything to the tablet yet. What I'm doing right now is I'm just opening up Odin and then tapping on the AP button just so I have Odin ready for when I have my tablet ready. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to turn on my tablet into download mode. And for most Samsungs, as long as you have like a physical home button, you would have to hold down the home button, the volume down key, and the power button. Okay, and here, here it is again. You see all this weird text on the screen. I don't even know why it's written in this weird Asian text. What is this? If someone knows what this is, feel free to comment. Basically what it's saying, uh, press vol volume up to continue. I've seen the screen enough times to kind of just know what it says. So I'm just going to press volume up. Okay, and you see, now you see download mode. Now don't worry about what it says on the screen right now. It says that it's downloading, but really it's not doing anything right now. There's no USB connection right now. I haven't connected anything yet. It's not downloading anything, so if I felt the need that I just needed to walk away and do this later, I should be able to just turn everything off. Okay. 
Okay, sorry guys, I just gotta find my USB cable. Give me a second. I find it strange that I had some weird Asian text coming up, but on the actual download screen, it's in English. I guess I, should, I might as well show you guys something else. In the corner, you're gonna say that, notice that it says custom. This is because I loaded a custom ROM onto the tablet itself. Uh, nothing to be worried about. I mean, if you care about your warranty, I mean, this will be an issue. You notice in the corner it says Knox warranty void one. That means it's been voided already. On uh, a phone that doesn't have its warranty void, it should say zero. Okay, hold on, I just gotta connect my USB cable. Alright, hook it up to my computer. Okay, and let me describe what's going on right now. On my computer, when I plugged in my USB cable, Odin did detect my tablet. It says that it's been added, and then there's an I, there's like a section that towards the top that says that's like that turned blue. It says COM three. It might say COM one or COM two depending on your computer, but as long as the text box says that something was added, it means that your tablet was added, and that Odin sees it. If your computer does not detect your tablet. Uh, even if you tried to flash something, it's just going to fail. I mean, don't worry about it. It means nothing was done to your tablet. So you should be able to just turn things off and start over. Okay, so now that everything's added, I have my firmware loaded, I'm just going to hit the start button. Okay, looks like Samsung is doing its thing right now. I'm just gonna let you guys watch. Okay, I actually don't know how far back I'm downgrading. Okay, never mind. I'm downgrading all the way back to KitKat. All right, so from Android Nougat to Android KitKat from seven to four, we're going pretty far back. No matter though. As long as it's on Android KitKat or higher, spoofing is possible. Now this downgrade process, it's going to take a while. Or I guess when I say a while, it might take about five minutes for everything to load. Uh, what's going to take long is um, when your tablet reboots its, or your tablet or phone when it reboots itself it's pretty much like getting your phone right out of the box it's going to take a long time to just kind of set itself up detect all the initial apps that were there and then uh, it should be ready to roll now some Samsung tablets and phones they're a bit different uh, some of them have a password system on there, or some odd thing like that. So when you downgrade, and then you turn your tab, your tablet restarts, and it asks for a password, uh, and you don't remember setting one, don't worry about that either. Just perform a factory reset, and I'm going to be showing that after this restarts. I notice a lot of times um, some people that perform the downgrade on their tablet or phone there when the phone restarts itself it just kind of freezes for about what 15 or so minutes um, the initial startup will take around 10 minutes or so but if it takes anything longer than that then it might be because you need to perform a factory reset on it since the downgrade didn't do it itself and just for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna factory reset uh, the tablet just so you guys see what's going on and this down this this is when it's actually downloading something to the tablet so this is the time where you really don't want your tablet to turn off or your phone to turn off it's 
you're better off doing this on a fully charged device. I mean, my tablet, I'm taking a bit of a risk and it's only at 20%. Uh, to, don't do this unless you know what you're doing. Uh, have have a fully charged device when you do this. There it goes. Odin told me that things are passing. Success one, fail zero. That's actually a good sign. If it says success zero, fail one, then uh, we gotta do some troubleshooting. All right, looks like Android's doing its thing right now. You no, know, I'm just gonna factory reset it right now. So this is around the time people notice that things just kind of freeze up, like right at the load logo. Okay. Well, actually, uh, before I do anything, I'm just going to unplug my USB cable since we don't need that anymore. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to force my tablet to shut down and then immediately boot into recovery mode. Now to do that, to force your tablet to shut down, you got to hold the power button, both volume buttons, and the power key. When the screen turns off, I'm going to immediately hold the power button, or yeah, I'm going to immediately hold the home button, the volume up key, and the power button. Holding down the home button, the volume up key, and the power button should boot me into recovery mode. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I'm trying to force shutdown at the moment. All right, and now I'm trying to boot into recovery mode. Okay, so here I am in recovery mode. It looks a little different from a lot of the other screens you've seen. Now there's going to be some options at the top over here, and you can use your volume keys to navigate through. I'm just going to go down to factory data, or uh, wipe data and factory reset. All right, hold the power button. And yes, I am going to confirm to delete all this. All right. Doing its thing, it's formatting its data. You can see all the status right here. Okay, it looks like it's done. Okay, so back at the top. See, I'm just going to sorry, I'm just going to reboot. I actually really like that Samsung logo. I don't know why they changed it up in the newer ones. I kind of like the color that comes out of it. I'm just going to let the video run right now so you guys have an idea of how long it really takes to get everything turned on. As you noticed, this downgrade process, its you're not doing much, it's more like you're just waiting for things to finish up. Oh, this is actually faster than I thought. Okay, so this is a good sign. 
when things are turning on like this and you see this installing application sign or it might say something else like optimizing apps. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to try to skip through all this as fast as I can. Oh yeah, when you do a downgrade process, you're going to see this. It's going to ask you for Wi-Fi. Do not enter your Wi-Fi right now. The reason why you don't want to enable Wi-Fi right now is because you're gonna, your device is going to scan for updates. And when it does that, uh, you're going to be locked into this whole updating thing and then always declining. Just, just turn off your Wi-Fi right now. You can set up everything that you need to set up at a later time. All right, no thanks. I don't want you to have my info. Got Google? No, I'm just not going to set anything up right now. Just so I can get everything disabled. Oh. Okay. They're just asking for my name at that point. They're not logging into anything. I don't even have Wi Fi on here, so good. It's not going to ask for an update. Uh, Samsung and your bloatware. Why, oh, why do you have to add bloatware? Okay, and here we are. All downgraded. Now, let's see. It's been a while since I've seen this, down, this um, Samsung interface. I'm usually using a custom ROM. So, I'm going to go to About Device, and there I am at... KitKat 4.4.2, you can still spoof on this version for people that are curious. Alright, and where is that update section I can show you guys? Oh, okay, sorry, I was in the I was in the right section. So if you go on about device, and then you go to soft, go to software update. Now auto update is checked. I mean to to help make sure you guys don't get an accidental update, just make sure that you disable auto update. Now even if you disable it, just be aware that your wireless carrier they can force an update on your device if they wanted to. So this, this is good for uh, disabling a lot of updates, but then if you ever get that forced one, you're going to be stuck. And then, But you can always downgrade again. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. You guys have a good day. Keep on spoofing.